Wait. How much oil do we have? Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is where we came from. Okay. So let's go back this way. Whoa. I don't remember coming over here, but maybe we have been here? That's not creepy at all. Whoa. So we, we have not been here. I know for a fact. Study. Wow. Dungeon. Are these actual stairs? Okay, it doesn't look like it going down. What's this? Cells. Can you hear that? What's that noise? Is it up here? Yep, I thought. Whoa, look at that texture. He's like. Aah! Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um. This looks like some sort of. Oh! That one's not spinning, though. I did it. Yay. What did I do? Okay. Ooh. Actually, nope, never mind. I was gonna light those, uh... <clears throat> I was gonna light these, but... Oh my god! We have 52 tender boxes? I don't remember that. I, it's been a while since we've gotten uh, back on track with the fugitive, but for you guys, well, let's go in. Are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing this? What the fuck is going on? Okay. For you guys, let's go in the dungeon. Marius was always the insane one. In school, he was always bullied and alone and tried to avoid people. Eventually, he became physically scared and began to hurt people. Now the bullies were being bullied. Wow. So I would just like to point out that that was like the perfect time um, that, it, it, that it went away. I can't run, by the way perfect time for it to go away while I was reading. Okay! What? I clipped the shit out of my microphone. Yeah. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? Samuel wrote an essay to the school homework. The teacher read it carefully and looked at Samuel. The teacher said without any fear or doubt, such English is never meant for you. In anger, Samuel hit the teacher in the face and a nosebleed was caused by the impact. Caused by the impact. Wow. This is awesome right here. This looks so cool. Look at that butt. So, I have a, uh, I have a question for you guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm looking for a new microphone, and, um, that's oh, locked. He did write something down. The cell door is locked, find another way out. Um, I'm looking for a new microphone. If you guys have any good ones in mind uh please where is that oh duh right there uh i'm not looking for one that's super 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 expensive like uh i don't know i don't any have any ones in mind that are super expensive just um wow how are we supposed to drill finally probably have to use the hammer though 
Um, yeah, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the blue Yeti. The black version. Whoa. This reminds me... ...of another custom story. Another custom story did that exact same thing. No, nothing under the bed, that's great. We have the blue, uh, the blue Yeti, uh, the black version is 130, which is, you know, that's not a bad price at all for a nice little microphone. Um, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Now, the microphones out there that are like $320 or such, um, What? Okay. Um. But yeah, like the, uh, I, I don't know the, uh, name of it, but there's one microphone that is, like, $320. I, I, yeah, I, you know, I could save up for it, but, um. Not at the moment. I don't have the money for that right now. Let's see. Whoa, I didn't even realize this. That's so neat. Wow, this this whole part's really cool. Excuse me? Apparently we can't go over there. Uh, can we break off one of these bars? One of these bars? So, obviously, can we do the hammer on this, too? This? Let's use the Easter egg key. Okay. We obviously have to do something with this. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to have to, uh... I'm going to have to, like, go and figure this out. Cause oh, my God! Apparently, the glass jar isn't good enough for it. Doop, doop, doop. It isn't, the glass jar isn't good enough for carrying water. You did good. Great, great job. Alright. Now, let's go over here. Alright. Excuse you. Whoa, look, whoa! Oh my god! You need to join the circus instead of trying to get some obsidian. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Alright. Oh, the obsidian stone! That's right. Now can we leave, please? Okay, so we had to figure that out before going in here. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna run, definitely. Left or right? Oh, we're going left. Apparently. <laughs> left again. Oh my god, I, I can... Oh, this is making me uh, a little nauseous. Oh, thank God. Okay. When Hazel turned 15, she had lived three years longer than Dr. Tate had foreseen. Her parents had given up from exhaustion and decided to give... to have her committed for permanent treatment at Canterbury Hospice. But she was still alive. She had embraced him and wished him granted. Mother of God. Okay, so... Wait a minute. This looks like, uh, the, yeah, the cells. Okay. So cool. I liked how that wrapped around and took care of everything. I really like that. That was good, um... That's good, uh... 
work, I guess you could say. <laughs> Creativity. Samuel was in the war with Great Britain when they were about to get defeated. He saw two men running quickly against the army with no hopes of surviving. The army shot on them for about a minute. Their voices was, went silent in the gun smoke that was caused. All right, so we're entering a nice little cozy little uh, complex here. Oh, tinderbox. Like we need another fucking one of those things. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, fucking another one, Jesus Christ. Are we missing any more? Okay, great. Looks like he didn't, whoever was here didn't care about uh, that side of the room. Magical potion test. This day is our main achievement. Oh, this day, our main achievement is to successfully use the magical potion and its powers. We shall do three tests to see which one is most effective and useful. Our first test is to see if the potion has the ability to slay and kill his enemies. For this test, we have brought prisoner 582 to see if the potion is able to kill him. The test was unsuccessful. Prisoner 582 actually did everything to make the potion being hostile. But then, oh, but the tries weren't, were yet again unsuccessful. <clears throat> Our second test was to see if the potion was flammable and dangerous. <sighs> okay. If true, this is going to be a big problem for our studying. Yeah, no shit. Luckily, the test was as well un unsuccessful. We dropped gasoline and gunpowder in the potion and nothing happened except that the potion changed color. Our last test is to see if it has any power with the space itself. The test was amazing. The whole potion began to sparkle with a light as strong as a star itself. The whole room was lit up with strong, sparkling white light. The workers were terrified and seemed like they were getting prepared to run away. But the servants were calm and tried to calm down the workers to make sure they weren't running away, so that perhaps the castle was collapsing due to the power of the potion. Eventually, the light was now turning red, like the blood of a normal human. The castle began to shake and seemed like it was beginning to collapse. I quickly covered the potion with a wrapped cloth and all the lights and powers stopped in an instant, like it teleported away. This potion is obviously very dangerous and powerful. This is something we need to keep in mind. John Cohen. Alright, that was that was a really interesting reading. I really like that article there. Whoa. Well, that's, that's not very good for a guest that comes in here. For one, it's fucking dark as shit in here. For another, you walk in here and it's like, hey, oh god. <laughs> no, no, I'm just thinking real life scenario. Oh, well, look at this. Fucking. Okay, I heard something. But look at this. We got a badass over here. It gets to sit all alone on one side of the goddamn table. Is there anything in here? Huh. Well, I guess if we can't proceed, then I'll look in there again. Ooh, I see you. The window is held up by a weak wooden frame. This looks exactly like the, uh... Whoa. Whoa. He stretched the shit out of this table. I mean, look at that. It's usually... What the fuck? What's going on? Okay. Maybe it's just, just music. Well. Uh... What a nice package you got there, sir. Okay. Oh, you stand the fuck back there. You hear me? Do you hear me? He's like, whoa, I'm good, fuck. Alright, we don't need a lantern. Oh my god, more oil. And laudanum. Very cool. Talk about blinding. Okay. Alright, now let's get out of here. Why the hell did we come in here? 
Oh, wait. Let me see this. See if we can get it from here. Yeah. Alright, well, we won't go... Whoa, what is that? That's just a random pillar on the side of the castle. It's like they meant for that window to be smashed so they can get around. Get around town. Okay. Now, I was reading um, on the mod DD... I mean, the mod DB page. And... I saw that there was a Fugitive Episode 2, and I was pretty interested in it. Um, oh, good, good thing I didn't bring that hammer with me. Okay, so I saw that on the table over there. I'm just exploring. But um, if you guys are interested in, as it, in it as well and seeing me play it um, to keep up this series or to finish it. Uh, okay, so that's the Crimson Stone. Then uh, just let me know. I will definitely write back to you and get to that. Uh, what was it? It's not the magical potion. I don't know. I can't find the freaking uh, the f motherfucking uh, note. Oh, here it is. So we have the obsidian stone. Obsidian. We have the crimson stone. So all we need is. Indigo Scarlet Turquoise. Indigo Scarlet Turquoise. Wait, to unlock this door, you need Easter Egg... Easter 1? No! Well, that's alright. I do have uh, the other two, so... If that comes up again, then I'll... Do that, obviously. So let's go find those other fucking stones.